the good shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. We offer this morning's Eucharist for the repose soul of Raymond Han, Eugene Ong, Salamara Naidu, for the special intentions of Brenda, Nicole Pereira, and Nicholas Rao, who celebrates their birthdays. And in thanksgiving for Ku Kit Kiong, Agnes Chung and family, and for Rebecca Tan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. May dear sisters and brothers acknowledging our human faults, let us prepare our hearts and minds by seeking God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my, my, fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its old ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to this nature. He who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen was filled with grace and power and began to work miracles and great signs among the people. But then certain people came forward to debate with Stephen, some from Cyrene and Alexandria who were members of the synagogue called the Synagogue of Freedmen and others from Cilicia and Asia. They found they could not get the better of him because of his wisdom and because it was the spirit that prompted what he said. So the, they procured some men to say, we heard him using blasphemous language against Moses and against God. Having in this way turned the people against him as well as the elders and scribes, they took Stephen by surprise and arrested him and brought him before the Sanhedrin. There they put up false witnesses to say, This man is always making speeches against this holy place and the law. We have heard him say that Jesus the Nazarene is going to destroy this place and alter the traditions that Moses handed down to us. The members of the Sanhedrin all looked intently at Stephen and his face appeared to them like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. They are happy whose life is blameless. 
They are happy whose life is blameless. Though princes sit plotting against me, I ponder on your statutes. Your will is my delight. Your statutes are my counselors. They are They're happy, happy whose life is blameless. I declared my ways and you answered. Teach me your statutes. Make me grasp the way of your precepts and I will muse on your wonders. They are They're happy whose life is blameless. Keep me from the way of error and teach me your law. I have chosen the way of truth with your decrees before me. They are They're happy whose life is blameless. does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed the 5,000, his disciples saw him walking on the water. Next day, the crowd that had stayed on the other side saw that only one boat had been there and that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples, but that the disciples had set off by themselves. Other boats, however, had put it from Tiberias near the place where the bread had been eaten. When the people saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into those boats and crossed to Capernaum to look for Jesus. When they found him on the other side, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, you are not looking for me because you have seen the signs, but because you have had all the bread you wanted to eat, do not work for food that cannot last, but work for food that endures for eternal life. The kind of food that the Son of Man is offering you, for on him the Father, God himself, has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do if we are to do the works that God wants? Jesus gave them this answer. This is working for God. You must believe in the one he has sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We begin this week with the whole experience of the crowds in search for Jesus, in look for a moment where Jesus is. Life is always a moment of restlessness in search for God. Just as the crowds were searching for Jesus, we find ourselves in the shoes of this crowd in search for God at the beginning of this week, the longing to be with God. But the question we ask ourselves this morning is why and what do we search from God? The crowds ask Jesus, what must we do? What must we do to do the good, the good works of God, to do the works of the God? It reminds me of the story of Nicodemus last week, the Jewish leader who came to Jesus in the night and says, what must I do? To enter the kingdom of God, searching, the continuous search, just like the crowds. And Jesus replied to the crowds today, there's only one thing you need to do, and that is simply to believe in the one who sent, to believe in the one who is sent. Yesterday, I took a moment to ask you to reflect on this two beautiful phrase, to believe and to have faith, what it is to believe and to have faith. And Jesus told the crowd today, you believe in me. You believe in me because you have seen what I've done. Because of the food that I gave you. 
because of the miracles that I did for you. You ran from Capernaum to me because I fed you with food for the great things that God has given you and you want more and more of it, but you have no faith in me. You believe in me for the things that I can give to you. That's why you run to me, Jesus told the crowds. There's nothing more that you want from me. You have no faith in me, but you just seek the things that are of earthly life. It is about the physical hunger. It is about your physical needs. It is never about your spiritual hunger and spiritual needs. That Jesus tells the crowds today, you have no faith in me, Jesus tells them. If you take a moment to look at Stephen today, the first line of the reading begins with, Stephen was filled with the Holy Spirit. He was filled with the power and the grace from above. And that's the same word that Jesus told to Nicodemus, you must be born from above. We use the phrase, born again, born of the flesh, born not of the flesh, but of the spirit. It's a new life that Jesus was speaking to Nicodemus. Stephen was into this. He knew the faith and the conviction of Christ. You will see it tomorrow, how he will lay down his life as a martyr. The response to the psalm, if you take a moment to read through it again, it's about following the precepts of the Lord in a blameless life. Where is the Lord directing me? What caught my attention this morning when I was doing my prayer was the last line of today's first reading. When the crowds looked intently at Stephen, they saw the face of a... What did they see? Angel. God's presence was there. They saw the face of an angel in Stephen. Let us ask the Lord the grace, my dear friends, to live in faith and to seek the food, not of the earthly, but of the heavenly kingdom. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, through the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers this morning rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as your true beloved Son, you created the human race, 
so also to him with great goodness you formed it now. And so it, it is right that all your creatures serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all the saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, Father, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Sebastian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise and to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins upon the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. We'll take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty ever living God, you who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of the Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Pray for all. God, God our, our merciful, merciful Father, Father, source of, of healing, healing cast the light of health and well-being on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease. Bless, Bless them, them, protect them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. God's Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young, young and, and old. old. God of the present moment, bring, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day and do stay safe. Same to you, Father.